guys, today we have this very cool Heritage Tactical Cowboy, and this thing is super cool. It has carbon fiber grips on it, which I don't even think they're real, because it doesn't even feel like carbon fiber. And it came with a rail on it, so of course we had to put a red dot on the rail. And it came with a threaded barrel, too. So we put a tandem cross compensator on it. All of this stuff that we added on this thing was pretty weird because it's a single action revolver. This thing is called a tactical cowboy. So of course I had to dress into a tactical cowboy outfit, but this is not a cowboy outfit. It's a cowgirl outfit. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Horse shirt. <laughs> But this thing is so tactical, I even pinned in my range tactical. There's a Cyclops, a dead guy over there, yeah. a goofy dead guy, Mr. Derpy, and crazy eyes. <laughs> but yeah, this thing feels tactical. I feel more tactical. It sounds tactical. I can hear tactical music coming out of this gun. There's just something going on with this gun. It's so tactical that... was weird. I am very glad that that is over. There was, mm, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> but next up we're gonna taste, taste. We're gonna test the power of the Tactical Cowboy. We have three twist ups <laughs> up there and we're gonna be loaded up with a Winchester silver tip. One of these guys here. Oh, this, this still says keep out of reach of children. There we go, that's fixed. Now yeah. you're allowed to shoot them. And we don't have to read the warnings on the package either. Yay! <laughs> this is a pretty aggressive load for 22s. I guess it's kind of uh, marketed as defensive mm -hmm. 22s. Yeah. 
Today's video sponsor, as always, is Walkers. These are very comfortable electronic muffs. They're great for at the range when you're with other people so you can still talk to each other. They are very comfortable and I specifically have the very comfortable gel versions. You can hear out of them great. They sound great and I love them. So go check out Walkers right now to pick up one of your own pairs of Walkers. Link in the description down below. Oh, and as you can see, we put a can on it, which looks very cool. Even though it may not do much because of the cylinder gap, but I just think it looks cool. And thanks, JK Armament, for sending this over to us. All right, let's test if I get wet or not. <laughs> That'll tell us how much power this has, because yeah. <laughs> if it sprays me, it has a lot of power. If for it doesn't, sure. it's weak. <laughs> Although we are using very strong ammo, too. Yeah. Ready? Ready. Yep. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm soaked. Those work good. I'm soaked. Whoa. That has a lot of power. Great. Yeah, I think we should put more cans up. See how many it'll go through. <laughs> yeah. That Winchester Defender zipped right through those three cans. But now we have five cans and a two liter. I'm going to get soaked. Probably. Yeah. The slow-mo okay. will look cool, though. Yeah. I'm doing this for the slow-mo. OK. Ready? Ready. Whoa. That's cool. But I guess it only goes through four cans because I still see one can and a two liter up. But let's see what one can and a two liter does. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ready? Ready. <laughs> 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 Shoot it again! <laughs> for our next round, we have some CCI Stangers from our old buddy, 22 Plinkster. For our next target, we have the same setup because we want to compare it to the silver tips, the Winchester silver tips. So what we have, again, is five cans and one two liter. We're gonna check penetration, damage, all the same stuff that we did with the Winchester silver tips. Okay. Ready? Ready. It looks like it went through all five and then uh, curved off, but I don't know. That's the bullet? That's the bullet. I think it just punctured a hole. Yeah, there's a bullet in there. Okay, let me go set this Sweet. down. Sweet. Let me go set this down. Okay, so we actually caught that Stanger bullet. It made a hole at the back side, which tricked us to making it think it went out all the way, but it's actually in there, right in there. And I'm gonna have sticky hands, but whatever. There's that Stanger bullet. Wow, perfectly expanded. In the fifth can. Because this hand got all sticky, I'm gonna go one hand and then take out that orange jet. Cool. Woo! That was cool. Ow! Oh, I got soda in my eye. <laughs> it went pew right into my eye. Oh. Wow, this gun is so fun. 
This thing is so fun to unload, reload, shoot. Just look how crazy it looks, too. That is one of the huge reasons that I love this gun. Tell me what you guys think of my new Heritage Tactical Cowboy. So thanks for watching Autumn's Armory, and we'll see you next time.